You become engineer or you become doctor or what did you study? You are sending your children. He's a teacher. He's a teacher, master. So why do I need a teacher in the school? Why do I need you? Your need is paramount, isn't it? You can train people better. You can educate people what to do, what not to do. Educate them. And spiritual education, as I was sharing before, like you can nourish your physical body. You know the means. You eat well, have nourishing food. Mentally, people like yourself, the teachers, they nourish our minds. Our parents nourish our minds. We discuss things, we read literature, holy as well as whatever is available. But how are we going to nourish the inner spirit, the values? And that can come through a proper trainer. Trainer helps us travel through various chakras. He can help us see from the heights that they have attained. Because they have seen the path, they have traveled the path of spirituality and it becomes easier for them to share that knowledge. Without that, you'll be lost. So what I'm trying to say is even for simple little things, we need a guide, we need teachers. These are, these are pound a dozen. But to find a spiritual teacher, spiritual trainer is extremely difficult. And all these trainers that we have across the globe, they're all volunteers and they serve you with all their hearts. They don't expect anything in return, not even thanks and not even your money. Because the principle on which this heartfulness was founded was very simple, that Brahma Vidya cannot be sold. You cannot sell a seat for $50 and $100 and $1,000. No. Brahma Vidya, if you can purchase, how much would you pay? And if you could pay, why would you need Brahma Vidya? So trainers are necessary, but they should be selfless trainers. Moment you bring a selfish trainer for personal gain, run away. Don't accept, don't accept such a person. Okay.